there, Kimberly Cortez, Expedition Love. How are you doing today? I just finished working out and I wanted to show you my workout machine that I mentioned on a previous week's video. This is my home machine that I use for working out to keep my frequency high and keep my body healthy and honor my temple. It's an elliptical slash uh, stair machine, as you can see. So I just wanted to show you that real quick just to encourage you again to keep exercising, to keep that frequency high. And you know, today I wanted to take some time to give you a couple more tools that you can use to raise your frequency. And one of them, the first one I wanna talk about is music. You know, music is just such a universal, easy, fundamental tool that we can use to really raise our frequency. When we're feeling in a negative mood, uh, maybe you've gotten some bad news or, you know, something just sour has happened in your life to really make you feel bummed out or sad. One of the fastest ways you can raise your frequency is to turn on some music. And you know, the reason for that is that music is energy. Music is frequency. And when we listen to good music, it naturally entrains with our energy and with our frequency and our frequency goes up. It's as simple as that. So, you know, today I really wanted to share with you some of my favorite music, but unfortunately I can't play it for you because of copyright laws. So I have a royalty free version of one of my favorite styles of music on right now in the background. You can probably hear it. And that's called Native American music. I love Native American music. And you know, one of the reasons that I love it so much is that Native American music is typically recorded in a frequency of 532 hertz. And I know that doesn't mean a lot to you right now, probably. In my new book, Expedition Healing, I actually explain what that means. But basically, 532 hertz music, like Native American music, it, it grounds you. 532 is connected to the earth. It's a very grounding frequency, very calming. So when you listen to it, you will notice immediately that your frequency begins to calm. And when you come into that calm place, remember when we come out of stress, we go into a higher place of love. We can rise our frequency, raise our frequency. So you can hear that playing in the background, but I wanted to share some other favorites with you as well. And since I can't play them, I'm just gonna tell you what they are and show you a few albums. Um, but you know, my husband and I, we love vinyl albums. We collect them, we have tons, and we love classic music. And I just wanted to show you a few of my favorites because you know, it's not all Native American music all day long. That's not everything I do. But you know, we have our favorites. We have um, James Taylor, that's an awesome one. Let's see, who else do I have here? Oh, of course, you've got to have John Lennon, right? Can't live without John Lennon. The Motels, a little bit of our 80s vibe. Oh, the late Tom Petty. So sad, I miss you, Tom. Rod Stewart, who could live without Rod Stewart? And of course, who could not have the infamous, most beautiful breakup album in the world? Fleetwood Mac, love you, love you, love you. Jim Croce. The Carpenters, oh my gosh, that reminds me of my mom so much. Linda Ronstadt, yes. Carly Simon. So those are a few of my favorite classics that I listen to to raise my frequency. But you know, I've got a few other artists that I just absolutely love so much. And I just wanna tell you about them. I'm hoping you'll Google them or YouTube them and check them out because they're just amazing. And they're a little bit more on the spiritual side of music. Um, they're not Christian, um, you know, or anything like that, but they're just very spiritual, very in tune with love and energy and activism, which is something that's really important to me. And one of those artists is named Ajit Kaur. And I'll put these names up for you so that you can see the spelling, because I know you might not know how to Google that. But um, Ajit is amazing. She just really, really has music that, oh, it just opens my spirit. I, if I'm feeling down, if I'm feeling out, all I have to do is pop on one of her songs and I am immediately 
feeling like I'm in a higher frequency. And I'm just gonna give you a couple of her songs. I wrote down some of the names of all my favorite artists so that you can check them out. Um, from Ajit, I love Light of My Soul. Love it. Peace is another one I adore. And In Your Grace. Oh, these songs, you gotta check them out. They're just beautiful. And I have another artist, Jai Jagdish. And hopefully I said her name right because it's a little bit tough to pronounce. But again, I'll put the spelling up for you. She has three songs I love as well. In Dreams. I mentioned that in one of my meditations. It is literally a song that I think I cry to every single time I hear it. It's absolutely beautiful. I dedicated it to my granddaughter when she was born and I play it for everyone I love. It's beautiful. You've really got to listen to it and tune into the lyrics. It's absolutely just, I don't even know how to describe it. To me, it's just one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. With You is another one. And then she does a version of Hallelujah. Oh my goodness, it is so good. You've got to check it out. And next, I have probably, I'm going to say, my all-time favorite group in the world. I am obsessed with this band. I love them so much. I can't wait till someday when pandemic is over and I can go see them live. If you have not checked them out, you've got to check them out today. Their name is Rising Appalachia, and they are very grounded in activism and women empowerment and spirituality and love and justice and equality and just so many, there's so many layers to their message. It just touches me on a deep level. And a couple of their songs you've got to check out is Resilient. Boy, you talk about a song that is written for today's world of what we're going through with pandemic and everything in politics. Wow, that song is amazing. You've got to really seriously check that one out. Find Your Way, that's another one that I just adore. And Harmonize, Harmonize is such a beautiful song. And you know, I should mention, this group is made up of two sisters, Leah and Chloe. And boy, the way they harmonize together, oh my gosh, yeah. You just talk about talent and gifts, wow. So check out that music. You know, if you're feeling bummed out today, if you're feeling down and out, put in some music, raise your frequency, get out of that funk. You know, anybody out there who's a musician listening to this, a singer, um, someone who plays music of any kind will tell you immediately that what I'm telling you is true. Music is frequency and it taps into a place and it entrains with something inside of us that just really takes us to a positive place. And you know, on that note, I'm gonna give you another tool that can really, really raise your frequency. Oh my gosh, there she is. The little Lola who's out here watching the neighborhood go by. Let me tell you, if you are having a rough time Loving on one of these little guys, these furry little pals, is such an awesome way to raise your frequency. You know, God gave us these little guys as a gift. And I'll tell you what, with everything going on with pandemic, the loneliness we can face of being isolated, it is really a blessing to have a little pal to hang out with. You know, I shared with you, my husband and I were separated for a long period of time because he got COVID and I've been in this house alone quite a bit. And this little girl has really been a pal. She really raises my frequency. And she keeps me exercising. I gotta walk her, I gotta keep her healthy. She gives me a purpose. So, you know, again, just like last week, I'm just giving you some really basic tools that you can use, sorry, camera issues. <laughs> some really basic tools that you can use to raise your frequency. These aren't things that are new to any of us. They're things we all know about, but they're things we neglect. When we're in a funk, we don't look for these things. We just stay in a funk. We've got to actively seek them out. We've got to actively take part in them. And that's what this week is about. Just, you know, be, be conscious about what you do. Think about the things that you do. 
Because the truth is with very small changes, you can make huge shifts in your life and you can begin to operate in a frequency that really serves you well. And that really, really puts you in a place where you can truly begin to love others and to really feel your best and live that abundant life that Jesus wants for you. So check it out today. Look at some of that mute, some of those um, songs that I mentioned, and I hope they really help you raise your frequency. And until next week, love and blessings.